Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome everybody to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am, and today we are going to finish the Mechanist DLC, or the Automatron DLC. Now that that's all been said, let's get started. We're going to talk to Jezebel real quick. Interesting. This body you've selected for me isn't quite what I had envisioned, but it will have to suffice. Sorry, your highness. The royal tailor has been quite ill, and I'm afraid the task fell to me instead. If you're attempting to use sarcasm as an intimidation tactic, I'm afraid you're wasting your time. Look. It's obvious we don't care for each other's company, which suits me just fine. So, why don't you ask me everything you wanted to know, and then I'll be on my way. Tell me everything you know about the Mechanist. Now there's a fascinating subject. The Mechanist. Amazingly adept at programming. A veritable genius with electronics. I'm not surprised you're interested. I've been dutifully carrying out the Mechanist's instructions to help the people of the Commonwealth for quite a long time. Helping the people of the Commonwealth? You? Absolutely. It's my primary directive. The Mechanist instructed me to seek out and help the people of the Commonwealth. By my calculations, the easiest way to help a human is simply to destroy it. There's no point in prolonging a laughably fragile life. It's the most efficient way to assist them. Any other effort to help tends to result in numerous complex side effects. I don't think you understand the definition of help. Help. To give or provide what is necessary to accomplish a task or to satisfy a need. I'm doing exactly as I was instructed. Assisting a human to the best of my abilities only affords a 25% survival rate. That means there's a 75% chance that despite my efforts, the human I'm assisting will die from something beyond my control. Therefore, it's better to hasten the human's death and put them out of their likely chance of misery than to deplete my limited time. It's actually quite elementary, but given your minimal intellect, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised you don't understand. You can believe whatever you want. Just tell me how to access the Mechanist's facility like you promised. Certainly. It's rather simple, really. In order to gain entry to the Mechanist facility, you're going to need to outfit one of your robots with an MSAT modification. I'll upload the plans to your Pip-Boy device. There. I've fulfilled my portion of our agreement. Perhaps I'll remain here for a while and see how things resolve between yourself and the Mechanist. Purely for my own amusement, of course. I suspect you'll have quite a tale to tell once you return. But then again, I'd be surprised if you ever return at all. A trick with water pumps is to find a good spot for them. Some place you can dig down the groundwater. Okay, I don't care, bud. <laughs> Let's talk to Ada. Hey. Yes. Ada. I trust you've completed your business with Jezebel. I hope she wasn't too difficult. I got what we needed. Good. What did she say we need to access the mechanist's facility? I need to outfit a robot with something called an MSAT. Jezebel gave me the plans. A custom modification that acts as a key to the Mechanist facility. Very smart. In fact, chances are high the MSAT may be required for multiple access points, like a robot identification card. As for my task, I was able to decrypt the signal with the final radar beacon. The source is coming from a Robco Sales and Service Center, most likely a front for a larger operation. It's time to take the offensive. Have you formulated a plan? It's time to confront the Mechanist. I hope you're allowed the opportunity. I too am curious as to what the Mechanist would have to say. Now, if you're ready, I believe you have an MSAT to install. You're tied to this place, kid. Your energy. Let's go ahead and uh, modify the... You certainly know. No, not that. Way around a workbench. Hold on. Ugh. Click on Ada. And put on the MSAT. There we go. Now let's go to 
the Old North Church. And we'll just swim across the river here. Let's turn around. And then we're going to put some radix on. So that we don't, that way we don't get over radiated here. I'm just going to follow the uh, quest marker. We're going to take the back door instead of going up top there. That's it. Let's go over here and use the MSAT or have Ada use it. Use this. This will open up a secret doorway. Head down this long hallway. Let's grab this fusion core, and then we'll take out these few robots. You're going to regret this. Intruder alert in <coughs> Oh, come on. <coughs> Ada, you're causing me to get electrocuted. <coughs> Didn't really do that much damage. say so oh <laughs> hey I guess it was still alive let's use the MSAT again this is gonna be something that we're gonna have to do Open through the this. whole um, dungeon here or mechanist layer Can lock pick that if you like. Across the room here, there is a turret that? that we can take out from a distance. There should be, yep, there it is. Picking up something. Sir. Stay away from that robot. Don't want it. To, don't want it to explode in your face. I hear a robot that wants to explode. I don't know where it's at. Well, let's just go forward, I suppose. By the way, uh, heads up for everybody, when you are looting a robot, and I should have said this sooner, you can um, find different parts for robots by looting um, the robot, like sentry legs and robo brain tracks and all kinds of stuff. 
pretty cool. I like that uh, added mechanic to it. Let you build different types of robots and mismatch their legs and arms and weapons and all kinds of cool stuff. Um, almost forgot a hollow tape here. Let's go ahead and play it. Lead engineer, Thomas Harkin. So far, we're tracking on schedule for the over a milestone. Dr. Antonio, <coughs> senior action is high off when everyone watches their latest Great assembly line adjustments have been completed early. I can only hope that means due diligence was still paid. Enemy We're not going to be looking at a total system breakdown again. Other than that, I'm still worried about the uh, test subjects. Right now, we've got more than enough to beat our demand. Not like these things grow on trees. We're going to need these hollow tapes to do something pretty cool. I don't know if many people have kind of seen this option with the mechanists. But if you have, then you know. If you haven't, then you don't. But you're going to know. Probably not, Ada. Let me have this one. I think not. Well done, sir. You are not as useful as you think, Ada. And here is some stuff you can loot. I'm going to go ahead and heal myself just in case purposes. Crouch down again. Over here. Come on, Ada. Where are you at? Where'd this robot go? Are you being serious right now? I just heard her walking around. Did she get stuck in here? She did. Oh my god. Hey, dum dum. Let's go. Come on, what are you doing? Ada, quit being stupid. Oh, good lord. Now we gotta listen to this annoying noise again. Because our companion sucks. If you kind of run a little bit, it'll make your companion run faster. Maybe. Oh my goodness. Come on, Ada. Use this. The Commonwealth is right. 
time to fear people like you. People who have no respect for human life, who only wish death or pain for those around them. That is why I, the Mechanist, have made my solemn vow to protect the innocent, to put an end to people like you. Let's get this done. Make sure you don't leave anything useful behind. Also, if you need green paint, I know it's a really late into the walkthrough, but you can get it here. Bring it back to Abbott. He'll accept it. Oh, that's gonna, yep. I knew it. Oh, whoa. Calm down there. Not that serious. Ooh, we want to be careful. They're charging up. I really, really dislike those robots. We're going to back up because that thing is, yep. Ugh. How did the radiation hit me? I was so far away. Oh my goodness. I just about died there. Screw you, Robo. Thing. Robo thing. I don't know what to call it. Amalgamation of uh, parts. Robotic parts. Yeah, it wasn't even that great of a legendary. Be careful in that room. It's highly irradiated. Off to the left, there's like some nuclear reactor type things. Also be careful for uh, robots playing dead. They're not dead. They're just sleeping, waiting for me to walk by so they can try to kill me. You know, like everything in Fallout. I'd, yeah, I would advise to shoot first on that. Just get that all out of the way. Then you don't have to worry about it. Oh my goodness. Die, robot. Why are you going to be so difficult? Right here's another one. And then over here is the last one. No, I already got the Ultron legs. I think that's like the fourth one I picked up now. I guess I got the arms too. Or at least the left arm. We can stand up and uh, walk normally. I don't think there's any more robots over here. Yeah, you see the radiation? That's because I was uh, walking by these nuclear reactor type things. Here's our second holotape. Let's go ahead and listen to it. Tony Delano, facilities. Air filtration's on the fritz again. It's like a constant haze in here. I swear to God, if these people don't quit smoking, I'm gonna sue for health benefits. Yeah, like anyone here would allow that to happen. Anyway, I got McDaniel up there taking a look. But if that fan needs replacing again, I'm having family fired. I don't care if he is some hot shots kid. He can't do this job. And I'm the one that's got to answer to Rawlings. You may be getting closer, but I will not falter. My robots will see to it that no further harm will come to the Commonwealth. I believe that good will always overcome evil. Justice will prevail today. Let me have this one. <laughs> no, Ada, you're not allowed to kill any robots. Oh, come on. I thought she was going to fall through the crack there. I would have left her ass behind. <laughs> Just saying. Ada's doing the robot. <laughs> Quite literally. 
scan this. We'll crouch for now. Use this. Oh, I should have gave her like robo brain treads or sentry leg something. She is the slowest robot ever. No, I don't want the folder. Thank you. If we come around this desk here, we can pick up a password. Open up these doors. Go into this terminal. And that'll open up the doors. And there is a ton of loot in here. If you're needing a uh, ballistic fiber, Definitely a good place to get some ballistic fiber. Some radix. Alright, and that's it. Yeah, I'm not worried about that kind of stuff. So here you want to kill all these ghouls or else you're going to have them swarm you as soon as you press the button. So you might as well just take care of them now. Oh, legendary. <laughs> he came through the bars. I think, yeah, I was like, I think that one's alive. Couple more here. Oh, that's it. That is all the ghouls. Now we can come over here, press the button, and head up the elevator. We're almost out of the mechanist layer. But once we get to the end, we're actually going to turn around and backtrack all the way to the beginning. And there's a reason why. I don't want to spoil it just yet. No, oh, come on, Ada. Worst companion ever. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <coughs> It's okay. She's just a robot. She can't feel anything. Come over here. There's a hollow tape down here. Also, there's a bunch of these robot um, figurines all through this uh, facility. Feel free to grab them. They're just decorations. Anise Ciroletti, Chief Scientist. This is the third time I've had to request more security. As thorough as our assembly procedures may be, there's a human factor to be considered. These are criminal and unstable minds. It can't be a scientist's job to ensure each test subject is properly sedated. I was promised military assistance and security, but we need more. I won't allow my crew to be endangered. As fascinating as it may be to integrate the human mind with robotics, sometimes I wish I never signed on to this project. 
that's the last hollow tape that we need let's go ahead and take out this robo brain actually let's take out the turret first and then we'll take out the robo brain again you want to be careful for the the like circular beam it'll do that i kind of got hit on purpose i i wanted it to hit me oh already dead awesome uh, I wanted it to hit me, that way I could show everybody what it does. Just kind of want to be careful. Grab the terminal password. No, oh, great. Take them down. Oh my god, Ada. Stand in the way, huh? Let's go into the terminal. Then if we use the M set use here. That is the main mechanist layer. We're not going to go there though. There's an easier way to go about this. If we go in there, we're going to have to fight a ton of robots. It's really obnoxious. You're running around using a ton of stim packs. I only got a pistol. Yeah, I'm all good on that noise. I'm going to try to see if I can't get Ada to... There we go. Yeah, see when I run, she'll run. That's what I was trying to show everybody earlier. But I don't really like running through a facility or any kind of dungeon um, in the walkthrough because, you know, you may not know the layout of this place and it'll make it harder on you. And that's not cool, man. I like pressing this button like that. Although we're just going to hop down. There, It's not necessary to press that button. I'm just a weirdo. That's all. I have no clue where Ada went. But she is lagging behind. As slow as she is, she could be way back, way, way back there. Who knows? I don't. Oh, we have time. <laughs> we definitely have time. We're almost to our destination. I know it was a long trek back. It almost seems like it's not worth it, but I promise it is. Um, if you want to pick the lock and go through the security gate that way, feel free. I just like coming around here, going through this tunnel, 
Um, you can hack that terminal that just controls the turrets, the door, and um, the laser stuff. Let's hack this uh, terminal. All right, we want to initiate manual override. And then we're going to load in the three hollow tapes that we got. Uh, since we already listened to them, we're, I'm not going to listen to them again. Let's load it in. And then stop. Eject the tape. Load a hollow tape. Load the next one. Stop it. Eject the tape. Now we have two out of three. And then the last one. Load it in. There we go. Confirm manual override. And that opens up this elevator. Now where is Ada? I really don't want to leave without Ada. Wherever she's at. Ada, you stupid robot, where are you at? Oh, good God. Oh well. We're leaving without her. She's lame. She can't keep up. Oh my goodness. What are you doing? We finally found her. I swear this video is only going to be long because of Ada and her AI pathing here. Come on. I need a leash for her. <laughs> it sounds horrible, but it's true. Come on, you stupid robot. Let's go. It's time to go. Get in the elevator. If I go back and forth, side to side. Are you kidding me right now? Hey, hey. you. What can I do for you? You can get in this fucking elevator. Over here. I'll get it done. Yeah. The worst. Move here. I'll take care of it. The worst. Going down. <laughs> I apologize, everybody. It wasn't my Control fault. Center. Um, there's really not much in here. There's a mini nuke. Then if you come over here, turn around, there's a button. Press the button. Opens up a doorway. You can grab some goodies out of the safe. Which, this terminal opens up this safe, but the safe's already unlocked. I don't understand that at all. Some more goodies. Feel free to read the mechanist's log if you like. I'm not going to. Because I'm lazy. Where the hell is Ada? I bet she, she's still in that elevator. She is. Hey, hey, stupid. I'd be happy to help if I can. Wait there. No problem. Come on. Certainly. Maybe that'll help. Let's talk to the mechanist. Impossible! I control all points of access to this room. You underestimated me. A regretful miscalculation. You bypassed the pinnacle of free war security systems. I can see you're no common criminal. Perhaps we can reason this out. Let us discuss this amicably. Who are you? Don't you think it's time you ditched that mask? You're... I'm Isabel Cruz. The Mechanist was just an easy way for me to help the Commonwealth. But all my technical knowledge and all of these resources and I still failed. How does the Commonwealth have any hope against people like you? Hey, I'm not the enemy. I'm the one trying to protect the Commonwealth. 
against your robots. They have taken innocent lives. My friends, they were simple traitors, all dead at the hands of your robots. That can't be right. Explain yourself. They're misinterpreting orders. Your own robo-brain said as much. They're saving people by killing them. Saving by killing? No, it's the logic. It's there. I can see it now. I was hoping it was the robo-brains, an issue with their memory wipes. But you are right. <sighs> their primary directive was flawed. Now you know the truth. Your robots are dangerous. They had to be stopped. The hero unknowingly became the villain. I wanted to help the Commonwealth. And robots are all I know. I found this place and figured I could finally do my part. I accept full responsibility. I can't take back what I've done or even atone for it. But this doesn't have to end in violence. Tell me, why the mask? What's with the mechanist? I'm not good with people. The mechanist gave me a way to put myself out there without really being out there at all. But you're kind of keeping me in suspense here. I can turn this around. I, I just need a chance. I'm not here to kill you. Only to get you and your robots to stand down. Done. Consider it done. And you won't regret this. I promise. None of the Commonwealth will. Here. Take this. It's the password to the mainframe. You can use it to shut down the security protocols. I just, I'd rather this place be in your hands now. Let's shut down the security uh, protocols here. Hey there. Hey, just one more thing. If you have a minute. What's up? Just a quick thing. I just wanted to say I'm really happy, thankful that you've let me stick around here. And in order to show you that I'm done with the past, I want you to have this as a sort of promise, I guess. It's the mechanist suit I made. Thank you. You're welcome. There's one more thing. A much bigger thing. There are still robots out there. Lots of them. My communications are down, and I can't call them back. But I can tell you where they are, if you're interested. No way. That's okay. Maybe later? If you change your mind, you know where to find me. Heads up. Nope, your return is a relief. I trust the outcome was what you wanted. I got her to see the truth. She's standing down. So the mechanist really was misguided. Did she reveal her motives and reasoning? The robo-brains were responsible. It was their twisted logic that started all this. A biological wild card. The unknowns are vast. She had to know the risk she was taking by creating them. Many good people endured suffering and death because of the mechanist. It's a shame a mind as brilliant as hers allowed such atrocities to be committed. She's good at heart. She made a mistake. A big one. And she'll live with that guilt. I believe I have a certain understanding when it comes to guilt. While it's not the justice I had hoped for, it will suffice. Still, I now know that the death of my friends has brought about a safer commonwealth. Had the mechanist robots remained unchecked, I'm certain that damage would have been extensive, halting, if not reversing, any progress that has been made here. With this knowledge, I am finally registering feelings of satisfaction and accomplishment, and I have you to thank for it. I think we unlocked all the robot mods, by the way. Let's go down the stairs. And we're going to exit out of the building and we're going to call it a video. So I hope everybody enjoyed this DLC. I know it was short. Um, Far Harbor is going to be longer and 
Um, Nuka World will definitely be longer. I'm not sure if I'll do the Volt 88 or not, just because it's mostly just settlement building. There is a short story to it, but overall it's just building a vault, and I'm not sure that that's really relevant to a walkthrough. So let's go outside and end the video. Alrighty everyone, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe. And like always everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.